Okay, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Raka Kodash Barakatam. I would like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who labor in this word, and who taught me this truth, giving to all of us Akim across the four corners of the globe the proper breakdowns of these scriptures of the Holy Bible. All through the Rakah Kodash, which is the Holy Spirit. I also would like to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing uh, this gospel, which is the good news, in all truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, as well as you confusion of face brothers whose bloodline goes back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino, a so-called Native American, even though you look like one of the other uh, heathen nations. But in fact, you are an Israelite, making you one of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai's chosen uh, people, all right? So um, with that, you know, the Spirit had it upon me. I'm at the plantation uh, right now, but I'm on break. So, um... You know, the spirit had it to where I wanted to put together this uh, video epistle. It's going to be about four uh, scriptures long because I was watching uh, Akim's videos all, you know, this morning when I could take the opportunity to do it. And, you know, one of the brothers who, um, you know, whose channel I'm subscribed to, his name is Natazakia. He's a confusion of face brother, as a matter of fact. And, um... He's in the Chicago camp of uh, Great Millstone. You know, I've had the uh, privilege to uh, go on the battlefield with him. You know, the spiritual uh, battlefield on the highways and hedges about three different times. And he's a good, sincere Akim. And also the other brother was in on this video with him. Um, I forgot his name, brother, forgive me. But about two weeks ago, you and three other uh, I can came to uh, the Detroit camp of Great Millstone of GMS, and you visited visited us. I can, and also that was like my fourth time on the highways and the hedges with this brother and God, Salaki. I can't remember this brother's name. All right, but anyway, you know the brothers they had made a video on the uh, brother Nadazaki's channel, uh, and basically it was about the great influx that's about to come in. Okay, that's about to come into this truth. And how brothers uh, need to be on point, man. All right. So my video uh, is going to be based on when you come into this truth, calling on the name of the Heavenly Father. OK, who is your, his name is Yahweh. But you have to, we can't go directly to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. We have to go to him in his son's name, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. But his name, in fact, is a Hebrew name, and it is Yahweh Shai, okay? So I'm just going to get some scriptures to prove that, that when we pray, that when we call on the name of the Heavenly Father, um, that we have to do it in the name of his Son, all right? So with that, uh, my first scripture that I'm going to get, this is going to be the book of uh, St. John, chapter 14, and verse 6, and it reads, Yahweh Shai saith unto him, and this is Yahweh Shai speaking, all right, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, Yahweh, but by me, all right? So, Khan, there's only one way that Yahweh is going to hear our prayers is when we pray to the Heavenly Father in the name of his Son, all right? Uh, so kind with that, I'm going to get a uh, precept real quick. Uh, bear with me, Akim. And we're we're going to go into the uh, book of St. Matthews. I have to uh, see exactly which uh, chapter. It's in the latter chapters. It, yep, kind, kind. Saint, uh, we're going to go to St. Matthews chapter... 28 yep St. Matthew's chapter 28 
18 and 19 is the point, okay? And it reads, And Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Come, because the Heavenly Father, from the beginning, from Genesis chapter 1 and verse 1, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh created, uh, he made the blueprint of what he wanted created, of everything he wanted created, and guess who he handed it to? He handed it to his son, Yahweh Shai, all right? Let's get that again. Matthew chapter 28 and verse 18. And Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth, all right? Yep, so it was given unto Yahweh Shai, the Alahayim, the powers, all right? Uh, verse 19, go ye therefore and teach all nations, all right, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Yahweh, and of the Son, Yahweh Shai, and of the Holy Spirit, all right? So, Khan, this is why we say, uh, call Halloyim all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, in the name of his Son, Yahweh Shai, uh, Bahashem in the name of Raka Kwadash, the Holy Spirit, all right, which is this scripture. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, meaning teach all of the Israelites that have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, that have been scattered amongst all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So, Khan Akim, when we, uh, pray to the heavenly father Yahweh. we pray in the name of his son because that's the only way he's going to hear us and we uh in the name of the holy spirit all right so uh continuing on uh i want to get a couple more uh precepts and then we're going to uh close it out milk scriptures man but these scriptures have to constantly every chance the spirit jumps on us have to be going over so this is going to be the book of ephesians chapter 5 and verse 20 all right let me uh, highlight this kind and it reads giving thanks always for all things unto the heavenly father and the father in the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right. Let's get that again. Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the father in the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right. Hamashiach. All right. So. Uh, with that, we're going to get another precept, and this is going to be the book of Acts, um, Acts chapter 4 and verse 12, and it reads, let me highlight it, Con, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. So, Khan, we have the name of the Heavenly Father, which is Yahweh, And we have uh, the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. And that's how we're going to be saved, all right? By us having faith in the name of Yahweh and in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, okay? So, uh, Khan, with that, I'm going to get another precept. And this time we're going to go to the uh, book of First Timothy's. This is 1 Timothy chapter um, 2 and verse 5. Kant. And I'm going to highlight this. And it reads, For there is one power, all right, and one mediator between Yahweh and men, the man Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, all right? Let's get that again. This is 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 5. For there is one power, all right, one God, all right, and one mediator between the heavenly father Yahweh and men, the man uh, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, all right. So, you know, that's how we pray, all right. So we, you want to pray to the heavenly father Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai all right and then your prayers shall be uh, heard if the heavenly father is supping with you all right so those of you who feel the spirit that come across this video remember uh these scriptures all right S study them for yourself so with that hopefully this video was edifying 
Once again, I want to say Koholoyim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakhodash, Barakatam, which is all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit, bless you. Once again, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who labor in this word, and um, who taught me this truth. Giving us, Akim, the proper breakdowns of the scriptures all through the uh, power and spirit of the Rakah Kodash, the Holy Spirit. All right. So, like you about that for that pause, but somebody uh, was walking up. Uh, continuing on, I would like to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel in all truthfulness and sincerity. This gospel is the good news. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, as well as you confusion of face brothers. So with that, hopefully this video is edifying. A ball, ba ball, and shalom.